there are three proposed options um, in the report uh, on how we can move forward on to address this issue. Option one is to do nothing, keep the status quo, which means we, we don't see the need for any improvements. We're just happy with the way things are. Option two is um, make some improvements with focus on better coordination between the NREC and ASOAC, as well as uh, clarifications on the website or the document. The third option is suggesting some structural changes around the ASO to, for better clarity, which is what, what is what we call the two uh, house ASO council model. So in addition to this increased coordination, maybe having some structural changes would create better clarity about on how the ASO works and what are the uh, roles and responsibilities of these members. So uh, actually the APNIC EC have um, discussions how, how we can proceed as the APNIC region on this topic at the last Taichung meeting. And we made a decision that we support some taking specific action on the ASO improvement as long as they're not status quo options. So we would like to move forward and make sure that there are some improvements made and you know we don't just do and nothing about these issues which has been identified. So you can see it from the diagram here that out of the three options, the EC felt that we don't want to um, keep option one or we're open for option two or option three or any other options that the community think that makes sense so as a way forward um, on the strawman uh, the left hand side shows the current situation where how the aso works today at the top and the composition of the aso where it com consists of the um, ASOAC members, uh, 15 members in total, and NROEC five members. And um, as a way to provide better clarity to the ASO, maybe we can name these um, members as members of the policy council and registry council so that from, it's very visible from the outside that what roles they each play. And we have 10 members each on the policy council and the registry council, where the policy council focus on policy matters around the global number resources. Registry council focus on representing the AIS on operational matters. So um, to go into a little bit more details, the point here is that the total number of representatives does not change. So 20 representatives within the ASO, that's the same number as we have today. Also the same number of community elected representatives and the RIR uh, appointed representatives. So we have um, under the ASO AC election, we have two elected members from each region, five community elected representatives in total across the five RIA regions. And for the RIA appointed, we have five CEOs of RIRs serving as the NREC today. We also have one uh, elected uh, appointed representatives by the RIA board from five regions, so five in total. So the total composition of these community representatives and RIA appointed representatives remain the same. So that's the basic concept of restructured, which restructured ASO. I'm sure that um, you have more questions on what exactly would be the responsibilities and the roles of policy council and registry council respectively. And I hope that we can discuss more details of those during the course of discussions. But uh, let me just uh, put this idea on the table and open up for your feedback and uh, discussions.